Y'all, I have a collection of knit crates and I swear I always do sneak, like I always sneak peeks now and I never show y'all my like authentic reaction to it anymore. But I got another freaking one in the mail while I was um, out of town this weekend. And I feel like I should at least open this up now because I really want to see it. I should at least open this up now and show y'all a real reaction. I don't know what it's going to be like. Like I, the last one was my, is a good one. And I haven't filmed that reaction or figured out what I'm going to make with it. So yeah, it's not going to be an authentic reveal on that. But um, yeah, so I almost feel like I should have opened that one as my authentic reveal. Okay, so this one is, but I mostly liked it because of the tree that was in it. So this one is Sunscape says, here comes the sun in all her golden glory, lighting up clouds and shades of rich golden yellow and red, fading away to soft mauve and retreating with the fade, with the fading turquoise evening. So, um, oh, the sock clubs are really cool on here. The colorways. See those? Let's see what colors I get of this. The, the colors on this card are way different because I feel like I got the second one on the card. Oh my God, it's soft. Merino wool and tinsel. It's fingering weight. Oh my God, 400 yards. Oh my gosh. It is incredibly soft. I'm not really into baby pink. I would have liked any of the other colors more, but I'm not gonna hate. I'm gonna I'm not gonna hate. I'm gonna make something good with this. Um, it comes with a knit crate bag. That's intense. This is a cute little emblem. I almost would like a sticker like that. I don't know if I'll use that bag, but it's cool. I might, maybe I'll make whatever I'm making and use that as my project bag. Will you, that was a good look at it. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. We'll see. start this video and this project. So as you can see, I did already swatch. So I'm about to frog these swatches and get this project going, but I wanted to talk more about, you know, the yarns and the supplies and everything. Uh, in the swatching process, like I, since I've tested for Stephanie before, I already knew I was going to have to go down hook sizes. Um, but I felt like I was, I did pretty good guesswork. I didn't have to make multiple swatches. Like it was just boop, boop. <laughs> like it happened really freaking quick. So I'm really happy that I didn't have to go on a heck of a swatch journey. I definitely had to swatch each of them because this is, well, let's, let's go ahead and talk about the yarns. Okay. So, um, this is a knit crate. It's the Vitalana, which you will already have known because I will have already shared it, but it is um, wool and tensile blend. Uh, so, and then this is 100% wool 
it was like this is the label it was sticky so um yeah it's 100% wool and it's from Oasis Yarns I got it at a tent in Rhinebeck they were like five dollars for like two skeins or something or five dollars a skein I can't remember it was a hell of a deal I couldn't miss it it was on my way out um so it's been sitting in my stash. I was thinking I was going to design with it, but I feel like this is the perfect opportunity and I'm gonna go like Valentine-y theme. Anyway, so I felt like I definitely needed to swatch both um, because the grams, or yeah, the grams per yard um, was significantly different. I mean, it almost sounded like this was like lace weight. And then it, and this is definitely fingering weight. This has a little bit more soft and squish to it. Excuse me. This has a little bit more soft to it. They're both squishy. Uh, but this has a little bit more of a wooly vibe to it. So I just needed to make sure I could keep the same gauge. So I think it's okay to use two different hook sizes for my striping. I'm really looking forward to how they blend together. I think I'm going to use this one as like the lighter color like stephanie does and then this one is the darker color like stephanie does so it this will probably take a little bit less than this will i ordered um an extra skein to supplement or hank to supplement from my knit crate this is probably one of my favorite knit crates to date so with this design since i'm gonna go valentine -y theme i searched on amazon because you can't beat the deal and the shipping um for stud versions i definitely wanted studs but so in talking with stephanie i was thinking rose gold couldn't really find a rose gold but i found this collection and it came in this bag so there's gold silver i believe gunmetal or black or whatever they call it and then and i put it in this cute little basket there are these that they call copper, but it is kind of a rose gold vibe, especially when you put it with it. Oh God, no, please don't tell me. I'm going to start dropping a ton of these every time, but especially when you put it like with the reds and stuff. So, um, I'm loving this little basket. I don't think I sew it on till after the fact. So this is mostly just for looks right now, but I am um, super stoked about this project. So I'm gonna go ahead, frog these bits. Do you keep your swatches? I don't, like, I don't have a collection of swatches. It would be cool if I would have done that and like say with my designs or with my tests and made like a big blanket out of them. That would be a cool memory to look back on. But no, I just, I use all the yarn on the projects. <laughs> all right, clearly I'm pumped. Y'all, I keep meaning to come on here and update y'all. Um, I went out of town, I come back, um, I feel like I've been extended single crocheting like forever and I forgot what it was like to stitch with fingering weight yarn. I'm gonna love this sweater. So don't catch this as any complaints. Do y'all keep your ears like out after you take a shower or you keep them covered? I had to clean them, you know, so clean the water out. Don't judge me, okay? But yeah. Did you just see that glimpse? I was gonna try to get it to where I finished this color down here. Like the re for that whole stripe and then come on here and be like, bye bam. But I mean, like daylight is going. So we're joined. I went out of town and this, like I said, and this project has been with me. I did like stitch stitching here and there but I still wasn't joined till like yesterday I came back and last night I or well yesterday yeah I started stitching back on it and um but I got it joined the front and the back and working in the round for Body Island 
last night. So I've basically been working because I, I got like one pink, light pink there. I basically have done this all day today. <laughs> I feel like a turtle. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm always trying to race myself on these projects. This is, like, a slow craft, and I do appreciate that. So, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm, not re I'm really trying to enjoy this and not be rushing through it. Apparently, I'm having problems with words, too. Maybe I don't need to be recording myself. Um, but I've been really tired, so I also just haven't had like major focus on stitching. I'll like scroll, scroll on my phone mindlessly and watch these movies and just like days out. So I think I'm recovered enough to get my stitch on. It's exciting to like get to the next color. So I do love that. I'll be getting to this next stripe before I know it. I don't have, like I used a bunch, of, this is a 50 gram, uh, the dark red, and I used a bunch of it. I only have, um, oh, it's right here. I'm like going to look for it, but it's right here. I only have this. It's coming, it's coming. This much left. So I do have another caked up, and I have like this much left of my first skein of that, and so I've used, and that was a 100 gram one. So I'm I mean I'm I'm making it through this for sure. I will be trying it on soon, hopefully. I got a morning glow and it's very windy out here, but um thought I would come on and show that I have a little crop right now. Fits beautifully. I'm wondering if my stitching here looks different than the here. I sure hope I don't have to take this out. Mm. Like, should I redo this? Because the measurement is, the, is right. I guess we'll keep on going. I don't know. I might take this part out and redo it. I did, in fact, frog an entire stripe. I will say that this project is filled with the ability to mindlessly extended single crochet through whatever TV marathon that you want to do. I have zero regrets about making sure that I get the same gauge as Stephanie, which is so difficult for me. Um, she is not a lifter at all, like I tend to be. If you're not familiar with any of those techniques, look up the golden loop and you'll realize just what it means on how you stitch. I will attach a link in the description below because I know that this information is very helpful when it comes to testing. You can really see between stitches and rows what it is that you need to adjust to match the designer's gauge. Later, I realized that the pencil hold is the way to go for me to replicate the same stitch height as Stephanie. two days and it is definitely worth it. I feel like the stitching is way better. Yeah, I think we're doing better. So um, I'm really thinking I might make the collar and then do the sleeves and then come back to the body. I feel like I need a body break. I might do one sleeve and come back to the body, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna do the collar. I feel like it'll bring it together a lot better. And um, yeah, I don't have a bra on right now, so it'll be more filled in. 
I swear it has been um, like a couple more days and I have not made that much progress since I last shared. Like, yes, I finished the neckline, you know, and I started on one of the sleeves. I was thinking I was going to go to at least one sleeve island before coming back to the body, but then I ran out of the yarn and I need to cake up another. And so I decided to come back to the body with this one right here. And it's taking a lifetime. I mean, these are like teeny tiny stitches. And I keep telling myself, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be a really cool sweater. It Like, everything I'm saying right now, I can almost bet at the end, I'm going to be like, oh my God, I love it. You have to make it. <laughs> I know I'm going to say that. I know it. I'm already excited about the fit of it. Um, I just... I just can't wait to add like the little stud embellishment and have it all come together. So I kind of just want to be able to make one sleeve to at least see it. I'm probably not going to add the embellishment until after anyways. I kind of want to see it without and then I want to see it with. And... I don't want the chance of like dinging up the embellishments while I'm stitching on it, wherever I'm stitching on it. The progress. It is seriously a labor of love. And you know, this whole theme is very love in its pink and maroony colorways. So. Sounds about right. It has been a couple days, um, so maybe you deserve an update. I did the start of the sleeves on both sides, and I am on the last stripe of the body and in the dental office while my husband's getting his tooth pulled tell me that that's not a great time to get some stitches in the amount of excitement i have right now oh my gosh yes i got the body done Totally forgot to tell y'all about the shoulder seams. Stephanie said we could use our choice of whatever seam. I chose to go simple and slip stitch that. So it gave me exactly what I needed to know on what my right side was going to be. And I also actually used stitch markers when I worked on the sleeves to designate where the decreases were. So it was very easy for me to replicate and be able to count where all the decreases are. I very rarely do the right thing in that aspect. And now that I did it, I totally recommend always do the right thing. And even when doing the right thing, I still managed to have things go awry. It's okay though. It's fixable.
the amount of relief I have for finishing this, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know I basically made three sleeves because I don't know how I made like a mistake so early on in the first sleep and just didn't realize it. I thought I had counted more than that, but whatever, um, it's right now. Now both sleeves ended with the same, the correct stitch count. And she beautiful, ain't she? She's beautiful. Like, it was worth it, right? So I just gotta add the embellishments, you know? I don't know if I'm gonna weave in all the ends. Like, they're in the inside. Nobody's gonna know with the color transitions. I obviously have to weave in, like, these ends, like, at the end of the things, the ones that'll poke out. And then, like, I have one on the neck here. And I think one on the bottom here. So I had to weave those ones in. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wash this and hope for a cooler time. I'm gonna wash it before I add the embellishments too. Um, I'm hoping my sleeves will grow a little bit or relax a little bit um, from the blocking, yeah. I do feel like the stitches are pretty firm right now, but um, yeah. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. This is a legit like a wearable wearable. Like see, I was like the whole time, oh, so many extended single crochets, but I knew it was gonna be worth it in the end and I was gonna love it. This is exciting. It's the best part. I swear I procrastinate at this stage every single time. So hopefully after this soaks that I have time, like that it doesn't take long to dry. Cause I think I might take this with me to DFW Fiber Fest and see if my friend Stacy can be my photographer, which means it needs to dry so I can add my embellishments on before the weekend. I decided to take it outside because it is a high of 93 degrees today. It says it's 91 right now. Um, it's definitely fierce sun right now. Um, I don't feel like you can see that much in video footage. You can see a little bit like here, some here, some here, some here and here. Little specks of hair still on there, but um, it definitely bled over. The red definitely bled over into the pink. So I feel like there's a risk when you are working with such a high contrast and one being super duper light, especially with hand dyed yarn, they tend to bleed. The water was definitely like a pink, um, at some points like a darker pink. So I have a feeling it's the red that bled more than the pink did. Since it's such a pale pink, like a white, uh, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. I rinsed it a few times. I don't often rinse with soak. I usually just like, um, I usually just squeeze it out, but I actually rinsed it this time. We got little shadows from my pergola, but I just wanted you to see so I feel like she could probably get dried out here pretty quickly today. I initially made it hard on myself when applying these studs, <laughs> as you can see. But after speaking to the other testers, it's best to do it with all one string. For my particular studs, the hole was pretty small. So these little baby pliers helped pull the tapestry needle. 